Man, they have to take off the door. Pull up in a dinger, straight for the hole in the floor with the toddlers. Don't know what you thought. By the end of the night, you be picking up your jaw. Plants, not 10 or 20. Went up in a crop gaff with eggs, Benny. Man's egg got cracked and his legs went jelly. Just know that we're leaving the room with every last penny. No joke, man, don't boast. Just know it's over when you see ghosts. Spinning back, kick might take off your nose. Man, don't want that smoke. Big elbows to the top of the dome. Man, don't want that smoke. Nah. And I'm early, the left hand slash, but the right hand sturdy. They know I've been bad from early. City kickboxing. With fighter after fighter earning UFC contract and its leaders on the brink of MMA history, how did one of the most isolated gyms in the world become one of the biggest stories in MMA? While today the Auckland-based gym has established itself as one of the most dangerous gyms in the South Pacific, the plan for city kickboxing was never to the success that it's seen today. In 2007, 14 years before they earned the title of MMA Gym of the Year, two men simply needed a place to train. Doug Vinny had just won the K1 Grand Prix in Las Vegas, a new career high after his controversial admission to the Olympics to represent Tonga in boxing back in 2004. His business partner was Eugene Behrman, an unassuming fighter looking for a place to train. The two men quit their jobs and opened their new home, City Kickboxing. Unfortunately for them, the day-in, day-out demands of running a gym pulled them away from their own careers, slowly turning from fighters to trainers. Although it wasn't their intention at the time, today they run one of the most elite gyms in the sport. Four years after its inception, Dan Hooker would walk through their doors looking to start his fight career. While he was building his name on the New Zealand circuit, Israel Adesanya would relocate to Auckland to continue his development as a pro kickboxer. Their first pupil would appropriately be the first to break into the UFC when Dan Hooker signed his first contract in early 2014. Today, they are the home of eight UFC fighters, two of who are champions. Known for their sophisticated striking, City Kickboxing roster of talent represents some of the greatest fighters in the world. Dan Hooker, Brad Riddell and Kai Kara France are all known for their exciting brawling styles. Volkanovski and Adesanya have the most technical counter-striking in MMA. City Kickboxing's team has made the UFC walk 68 times, with four more scheduled for the upcoming UFC 281. If you want to support these fighters, all of their Instagrams have been left in the description below. Check them out and let me know in the comments if you want to see me review other gyms like American Top Team or Tiger Muay Thai in the future.